In this video series, for SEN and SENELEC members, we discuss bridging the gap between standardization and research. Welcome to video 3. In order to improve your link to research, you'll want to be well organized. First, you need a strategy. How will you develop a relationship between your standards body and the research community? And why? A good strategy needs clear objectives and a plan on how to achieve them. Once you've defined your strategy, then take a look at the way your standards body is organized. Can you achieve the goals you've set? This sounds reasonable, but how do I proceed? Well, you'll need time and resources, so first thing on your agenda should be getting the support of your management. This video series and the advice document should provide plenty of arguments and potential benefits. Then, like I said, the important step is doing an analysis of your organization, but also of your environment. This way you'll gather the information you need to decide on your standards body's involvement in research and innovation. For example, by identifying potentially interesting research projects or creating a dedicated unit. Creating a dedicated unit? Would that really be necessary? Your strategy might call for staff that explicitly works with research and innovation. They should have well-defined responsibilities, as well as relevant skills and experience. Even part-time staff is a start. How can I afford this? You'll need to invest some resources up front, to get organised, obviously, but also preliminary work, such as writing project proposals, is not covered by project funding. But once you've joined a project, you also join in the funding. Wow, great! Do you have any examples of best practice? It's always good to see how others do this. Yes, this information is collected on the SenSenelec website. Under Research and Innovation, you will find information on how standards bodies organise their activities in this area. So, we're ready then. Thanks a lot for your help. No, no, you're only halfway there. Now you will need to engage your stakeholders. Communicating and networking is the core of establishing a better link between standardization and research. You may focus your communication on raising awareness of the contributions your standards body could make to research projects, or on improving understanding of the benefits of standardization in general, or even on persuading an organization to get involved in standardization. Knowing what you want to achieve helps you identify the right target groups and the right approach. This information is really helpful. I am ready to communicate. That's great. But don't forget networking. Networking requires a deeper level of interaction. I know this. Standardization is all about networking. Indeed it is. Except here we're focusing specifically on the research community. And remember that the research community is not limited to researchers. Policy makers and high-level management of companies should also be part of your network. You might start by contacting individual stakeholders. You may already know some of them, but you can also attend events and make new contacts, or even organize your own event. Find out to what extent they have already incorporated standardization in their research projects. Okay, so let me get this straight. First, we'll start on our strategy and we'll get our organization in order, right? Right. Then, we go and engage our stakeholders, right? I can see you've been paying attention. But before you start, I would really urge you to read the advice document. Will do. I really like the way we communicate. But do you know how to communicate with researchers? In the next video, we'll talk about that.